Hi everyone, Namaste. Today I want to talk to you about stage fear and how we can kill this. Otherwise, it will kill us. Most of my students come to me asking questions, sir, how I can get rid of this stage fear? And I have given useful suggestions to them based on which they have improved a lot. And I want to take those suggestions to you which might help you as well. We need to understand why this stage fear and what are the ways we can get rid of it. We have carried this stage fear since a long time and there's a probability it might continue to stay in our heart unless it is addressed properly. Please stay tuned until the video gets over. Thank you. When I have to do any activity in the classroom, I ask any of my students to come on the stage. I ask two students or three students. Forget about their performance. They don't even feel comfortable to come and just stand on the stage. That's how the stage fear has its own intensity. And to make it even more clear, the stage fear is associated with the perception the thoughts and even the beliefs and apart from all this even the predictions that we do we start thinking uncommon we have our own set of beliefs which may act as blockage and we have our own perception we think not from our own side but from the audience side all these contribute to this stage fear. So there are few reasons why we feel fear about the stage, being on the stage. So now we shall focus on three major reasons. And the first reason is thinking about the audience or being worried about the audience. So even before we start thinking about the content of what we have to present, we start getting worried about how the audience would think. We literally start calculating the minds of the audience. We start thinking in their angle, how they would feel about my presentation. How would they think? What if something goes wrong on the stage? What if someone gives me some negative comments? Am I going to digest it? No, I am not. So let me be off the stage being so comfortable. Why to simply take risk? Let others perform. Let others go. Not me. All these things happen deep inside. When we have to go, the heart starts its beatings more than the usual rate, getting faster in the rate. Or we feel uneasy breathing. All these are side effects of thinking about the audience. The second major reason is the previous bad experiences. Remember your own experience that you have had in the past. Maybe in a small group of your colleagues or your classmates or in a public forum you might have tried speaking or, or tried performing something wherein you might have received some negative comments or you yourself have felt really negative bad about the performance wherein you have decided yourself that never to be on the stage again this is the reason why you may not feel comfortable being on the stage. Third reason is you have never been on the stage, not even once. So not try even once to perform something in front of your friends or your, in front of a small audience would definitely make you feel so worried about your current presentation. 
because you are not that comfortable being from this side to see the audience. You have never seen a stage from this angle where you feel this hall filled with lot of audience from diverse background. So this point where you have never even started definitely affects your mindset. So the way we are today in this society has major contribution towards the way we perceive things. So what to do now? What are the solutions to get rid of this problem? How we can kill this problem? Solution number one, socialize well. Start talking to friends. Start sharing your stories. Start narrating your own experiences to your friends, family and to any group of people in any given chance that will make you feel comfortable with people. Solution number two, grab every opportunity that comes to you anytime. When you are in a group, maybe one person is required to do something, be the first, be the volunteer, be the first to start sharing something, start narrating or even in an audience group, you are sitting there, you have been given an opportunity to ask a question to the presenter or you can slip into a discussion there like this, there are a lot of opportunities that might come next to you but be the wise to choose such small opportunities. To be very frank, all those small opportunities make you very tough tomorrow. Tip number three, it's very simple. Have a long mirror in your home. Go stand in front of the mirror, start talking. See your own expressions, how you talk, how the body language works for you how your facial expressions come, whether you have this eye contact, can you develop that eye contact, can you speak much better, just start acting as if like a mad, be a mad in your home for some days, explain something, take a random experience or take a random topic that you are very very good at and start explaining everything to the mirror, start seeing your own self. Trust me, it is going to work on the stage. Buy today if you don't have one. Tip number four, listen very carefully. Be very, very clear about the content. Start working on the content of what you are going to present because the content is what decides about the quality of the performance. Start practicing each day. Start working on the content. Practice, practice and practice. Because every time you practice, you get better and better, which is very, very important. So never compromise on this tip. Remember, content decides the quality of your performance. Tip number five, record your presentation. Any given situation when you are presenting, have a mobile, put the camera on and start presenting to the camera. And once the record is done, start searching for a point wherein you can improve upon yourself because you don't have to get the criticism from others when you have all the opportunities to look at your own presentation and start improving upon yourself. Go present your best friends, very very close friends, get the help from your 
friend then see the presentation start improving you are going to be much much better than what you are today and the sixth one train your body and mind to be relaxed very very important we get tensed we start worrying we, we are so nervous we, we are so worried about what might happen most often we think negative so put all of these negative thinking or negative thoughts aside and start training your body and your mind your body to be on the stage calm and to be very very relaxed in your mind thinking about this itself helps you to be a better performer and you know and one one thing you need to remember that we are going to perform and we are not going to impress somebody we are not going to just impress the mass remember it is not an easy task to impress everybody there will be some people to say negative on your performance so not to worry so keep your mind and body relaxed if possible do some meditation in your home before going to the performance start sitting 5 minutes calm take deep breath and get ready how brief idea about the performance that you are going to do with the seventh number as a tip so what you have to do is to start briefly having an idea of how it is going to happen on the stage have a lot of homework on this get an outline have yourself within that frame framework i'm sure you are going to assume yourself as the audience and you will stop thinking about their perspective rather you will be from your own perspective because you know the outline eighth one be yourself you don't have to copy somebody you don't have to imitate someone all you have to do is you have your own knowledge you have your own set of thoughts stick to that assume the great performers how they speak how they talk how they are so confident because they stay with themselves they don't want to imitate others so get something from others being ourselves helps a lot because we don't have that burden of copying others and imitating others which is definitely a difficult task to follow somebody else so stay yourself and ninth one is accepting ourselves see what level i can perform what abilities i have today i need to accept it when you accept your abilities the way you are today would help you to be not in the clutches of expectations very very important right only thing that you need to remember is to keep yourself open frank flawless go with your original ideas go with your original stories you have your own ideas let it be error free let it be flawless let it be as frank as possible remember accepting ourselves accepting our abilities definitely helps us to be relaxed on this stage we don't have that burden of expectations of others we don't have to get lot of appreciation from people all we have to do is to share what we know and for that we must accept ourselves the 10th one is don't be serious when we start feeling very very serious about the performance our ability 
to focus on the content gets declined. So be very, very calm, add some humor, crack jokes, roam around, go into the audience, start interacting with them, start developing eye contact with them. Let it be like a very casual discussion. Let it be very, very casual way of interaction rather than being so serious about what you want to tell. So being very, very calm rather than being serious helps you to be a better performer on the stage. In conclusion, what I have to tell you is you need not to search some, for some more suggestions. All you have to do is to start inculcating all these things that I have discussed. Start having all these things in your, in your mind and try bit by bit. Start to go one step to another step because remember if there is a person on the big stage, he has his own history. From starting point where a small stage was, he started growing, he started developing. So the smaller stages today become bigger tomorrow. So take all these things seriously and start developing, start inculcating within yourself and I'm sure one or the other day you will be definitely on the big stage. I wish you all good luck. I'm sure you have all those things to kill stage fear. Thanks so much. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed all the tips given by me. Let's kill the stage fear and if you have liked the video, please hit the like button, share with uh, your friends, groups and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. By clicking on the bell icon below, you will get all future notifications as soon as I upload new videos to this channel. I hope you support me and if you have any new ideas or any other tips that you think would definitely work, put them in the comment section and if you need any more topics to be addressed by me, request in the comment section, I will definitely come back with new videos on those topics. Thank you so much.